Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about the fight that just happened. Brandon Moreno versus Brandon Royval. Now, this was a fight that I was really, really looking forward to simply because they fought once before. Crazy scrap there. It didn't last very long. Royval hurt his uh, wrist, I believe it was, and they stopped the fight at TKO. Weird. Should be like a doctor stoppage or a fucking no contest. But this fight, both coming off title losses... Um, Moreno's was a much closer fight than Roy Valls was. In this fight, I thought Moreno would be able to use his combinations, his uh, not necessarily output, but he's very good at adapting. And watching this one just five minutes ago, getting done, maybe less than that, it uh, Roy Valls' game plan seemed to be let's just throw. If he makes, if Roy Valls and if Moreno makes a mistake, he can make him pay. With like the knees, that was his biggest thing. Just output, output, output. Draw that out. Throw the knee. Didn't the knee never landed? But he threw four over 450 strikes. Royval. Now he didn't land a lot. But again, I'm hearing people say that this is an absolute robbery. I'm gonna be honest. I thought Royval won all five rounds. I did not score a round for Moreno because output is so crazy, especially when the guy isn't really returning. But one shot here, one shot there. The best combinations. Uh, from Royval was that big overhand right to an outside leg kick. Now, you could only throw so many of those until you win a round. Moreno didn't do that. Again, this is not a robbery, so I don't really necessarily understand that. Let me know what you guys think down below. What were your thoughts on coming into this fight? What did you guys think was going to happen? Now, this kind of sets up another weird situation. Like, if Moreno won, it's another one. He, he fights a champion again, two-time champion himself. Royval now goes in and he fights Pantoja again, I would assume. I don't necessarily think that fight changes too much because on the feet, Royval was already uh, doing good things on the feet. That's what it was. But even in this fight, Moreno was able to get his back. Now, Moreno didn't do anything with it. Sure, Pantoja will because Pantoja is very good at, at, at getting people's back, getting them down, getting that control time with dominant positions. Now, Moreno would get his back, and that's not a dominant position because you're not doing anything. Getting them down is a more dominant position, and the referee is not really going to stand that or break that up. That's just the reality of it. It's different than what Moreno was doing. Now, the judge that scored it for Moreno at 4-1, you should be slapped because there's no chance Moreno won four out of five rounds in that. Like, what, what are you watching? What do you, what, I, I don't understand. What are you watching? Um, great performance from, from Brandon Royval. He did very, very good in this matchup. I was worried uh, because he tends to make mistakes. He's overzealous at times, which he did at sometimes here. Got taken to the ground a couple of times. Um, but he did very good at scrambling and getting back up. And he's he has been known to be a good scrambler. But, again, he's been caught in some positions. Like, Pantoja caught him. Pantoja got him in the last one, even though it was by decision, still was able to take advantage of getting his back and stuff like that. But long story short, main point of this post-fight breakdown, Roy Vol played it incredibly, not necessarily smart, but strategic. A lot of output, look for the big shot, can't really get it, Keep stay in his face. Stay in his face. And that's what he did. Now, I don't think Moreno is washed. I've seen that comment thrown around already. I don't think he's washed. I just think he thought he would be able to uh, find bigger shots on him. That Royval would stand more in front of him. And he didn't do that. He did good. Um, first two rounds, or, you know, again, last point. Brandon Moreno, to me, lost all five rounds. He was just outworked in this matchup. So great job by Brandon Royval. I look forward to seeing you fight Alexander Pantoja. See what happens. Show me wrong again. As always, subscribe by comment. Not a bad card. Two and a half out of five. Have a good one.